if you voted for Trump, you voted for the person who the Klan supported. You voted for the person who Nazis support. You talked about Al Qaeda. What has he done in terms of incitement, right, that Osama bin Laden didn't do? No external terrorists ever did this to us. We've never worried like this, even after 9-11. Each of these people should be shamed, and they're going to go back, you know, to the Olive Garden and to their the Holiday Inn that they're staying at. I wonder if you have thought through kind of how Republicans begin what someone on my team earlier today called debathification. Look, I think the challenge is that, that the, the, the rot is from the grassroots all the way to the presidency. So the rot is at every layer. There are millions of Americans, um, almost all white, almost all Republicans, who somehow need to be deprogrammed. They can't even open their mouths about unity. Shut up about unity. The way that we in the media speak about this is so important. Twitter and Facebook aren't banning you because you're a conservative. They're banning you because you suck. They're banning you because you say evil shit. I covered wars abroad. I've seen ugly things that this country now resembles, but I've never seen this country more in doubt about safety at home than right now. And the enemy is us.